Hello. We are going to look at two ways of creating Azure pipelines or editing them. Now, the classic way of creating Azure DevOps pipelines is a visual editor that we have. The visual editor has an agent job. And under an agent job, we have multiple tasks. We can even have multiple agent jobs that actually execute in a pipeline. Now, let's look at how it actually looks. We just, go, we just went to dev.azure.com and go to your uh, account, select one of your projects. After uh, selecting one of your projects, on the left-hand pane, you'll see pipelines. Go under pipelines. Under pipelines, on the far right, you'll see a button named new pipeline. Just click on it. Now, here is where you select the location of your repository, where your code is located, whether it's on GitHub, Bitbucket, or in Azure repos itself. Now, if, you, if we select this, uh, our code is in Azure repos. If we select this, uh, we'll get the second type of an editor. But we want to look at the classic editor. Let's say you get uh, to a company that actually uses pipelines which have a visual editor. You'll need to adjust and you'll need to know where, uh, to, find, uh, where to find a visual editor. So for you not to be confused, um, there's a button here at the bottom called use the classic editor. Let's say they want you to replicate one of their already existing pipelines, but make modifications. One way is to go into that pipeline and just select duplicate. One other way is to use the classic editor to create the visual pipeline. Let's see how it looks. Okay, we're just going to select the source of the team project, as we mentioned before. Um, depending on your team's um, strategy, uh, whether to select uh, the master branch or develop, depending on the environment that you're deploying to, you'll want to modify this uh, accordingly. Okay, let's proceed. After you, we proceed, you see this template selection window over here. According to your project, you want to search um, whichever type of project you'd want to create a pipeline for. In our case, it's an ASP.NET uh, application. Going to select apply. Now the template has been uh, visualized. So uh, as we mentioned before, there's an agent job that we have here. And under the agent job is a few tasks. So the user particularly get um, two to restore NuGet packages, to build a solution, to run tests uh, on the built solution, and to publish symbols and after publishing symbols to publish the artifact, the zip artifact or archived artifact. So we have that in place. We have that in place. It's easy to uh, see where, where a particular task is. Uh, what are the settings for that particular task? You see here, it's just going to build the first solution that it's going to find, which is perfect. You can select the Visual Studio a version according to your project, which is spectacular. We have this build configuration variable. So the dollar sign and parenthesis signify a, a, a variable, a pipeline variable. So where do we get these pipeline variables like build platform and build configuration? If we go to the next tab called variables, it's going to click there. We'll find the build platform, the build platform and the build configuration. So you can just modify and add and remove these at will and you can use them in your pipeline. So this is very convenient and 
is very user friendly um especially if you have juniors uh, in your company or people who are not used to azure devops pipelines i think this route will be best for them so it'll be best for them to get on board and use pipelines sim uh, seamlessly notice there's a button called view yaml if we click on this button we'll see some yaml regarding some of the tasks that we have in our agent job one thing to note in particular is that this yaml is not comprehensive it's not comprehensive in that it doesn't list all of the steps that we have in our agent job so we can just copy this and use this to create a new pipeline so what other alternatives do we have okay let's go back i'm glad you asked if we go back to our account here yeah, and go back to our project lions versus hyenas there's a good contest we go to pipelines and then under pipelines we go to pipelines creative naming there and we say new pipeline on the far right if we click on this azure repos get if our code is hosted uh in azure this as you can see because it's highlighted and it's not marked as classic this is the preferred way of doing things nowadays if we click on this let's just compare them click on this we select a project yet again and here we're going to say asp.net again now look at this now we have a text editor we no longer have a visual editor we have a text editor now now this might remove some of the convenience for uh, beginners or junior developers or junior uh, devops uh, engineers who are working in your team but but it does provide some power for example we have steps steps are what we had in our uh, visual editor as uh, our agent jobs so these are agent jobs so the first agent job um, has particular tasks under it so you have your nuget tool installer you have your nuget command and visual studio build as we had before and we can still use our variables as we did before so what's well, what are the advantages of using this route one of the big advantages of using this particular route is that you can add custom uh, values to your tasks you can add custom values to your tasks which are not available in the visual editor for example if um, there's a particular enable default logger we can use a variable for this and we we didn't have such in the visual editor let's say the visual editor doesn't even have enable default logger and we saw that it didn't have it we can actually pass through a variable for this um which will depend on a number of other factors which makes this very powerful this is a very powerful editor so with great power of course comes great responsibility which means you have to just make sure that you know what you're doing you can just um make some typos or just guess some values without knowing their repercussions so you have to actually know what you're actually doing in this particular editor so in in brief uh these are the, the these are the two kinds of pipeline editors or creators which we have in azure devops we'll be delving into more demos a bit later on in a separate video um comparing the two and running the two side by side okay that's it for now thank you for tuning in